Hi. So I am at Bajuga's house, the Bajuga, and uh, he's done a bit of work since uh, last time I've been here, but I just went with skeleton thingy-majig because I found my first diamonds and made a diamond pick. So I'm hollowing out something back at my base, my new base that I will show you in a second, and it's taking forever due to SMP and the fact I can only break like one block at a time. Eh, so I decided to try and get a good enchantment on it. So I'm going to go ahead and... <gasps> oh, I couldn't have asked for a better pickaxe. That's fucking badass. I mean, Silk Touch would have been awesome, but this is perfect. Thank you very much, Alex. Man, I feel like I need a way to repay him. Um, even though he's not online, I'm the only one on at the moment. It's 9.05pm uh, at this very moment on a Thursday night. Um, so that means I'm in the future for some of you. Oh, well, no, I'm in the past because I'm very lazy with recording and uploading. Um, and usually I like to... Re oh boy, here we go. Never mind, problem solved. Um, I like to uh, record a bit of a video and then uh, chill out for a bit, edit that, do something else, and then finish off a video. That's just, that's just what I do. Um, which is a little unfortunate because now that I'm on an SMP server, if I'm going to make an episode, I have to make it from start to finish um, straight off the bat with no hesitation because um, shit changes a lot. I'm not the only one in the world, so that is obviously different. Like if I uh, do the start of a video that was a few days old and then do the rest of the rest of the video later on, then all this shit's going to change in between and then no one's going to know what the hell's going on. So anyways... Regardless, um, this is how you get to my new base. I've, I've just been sailing around the side. That was Alex's house there on the side. And then um, the simple way to get to my house is to simply follow the coastline. And I did end up... I did end up wow, derp. I went uh, and... What am I trying to say? I went with the mountain on that sand pile there. And I have an idea for what I'm going to do. Hello. And I am lagging a little bit at the moment. The reason for that is because I'm uploading it uploading a video. Wow! I'm actually uploading episode 2 of this as I speak. So, um, I mean, I lag enough as is, but I said I decided to take the chance. Ah, I need a break from this. I've been playing this for a little while. I haven't still gotten to the point where I've kind of caught up with the other guys. Um, what with their amazing skeleton traps and their zombie farms and their super storage rooms and everything, but, um, I think what I lack in, uh, Redstone and amazingness due to lag, obviously. I don't think I'm going to do much redstone stuff. Um, due to lag, I think I'm going to focus on more aesthetic builds. I mean, I'm probably going to build a mob system. I'm going to end up doing one of those. I've got a whole ocean to work with. Work, work, work. Weep, whoop. Weepity, weep, whoop. Iri, iri, DJ into his house. But uh, yes, so let's slow down. No, no, no. Okay. And uh, this, is the, this is the sword I got in last episode, so, yeah, I lag a shit ton. I tried to kill an Enderman before and a spider attacked me and I died, so, yay. Fantastic. I'll show you my house in a second. That's just my tree farm. Nothing, nothing much. I'm probably going to die here, aren't I? Because, um, yeah, I'm simply going to die. Um, there is really no way around it. If I die with this diamond pick, I'm going to be very, very upset. Granted, I do spawn nearby, but, um, yeah, I've, I've only lit up the top part of this. Man, I've got to get inside quick. Holy shit. Right, let me just get up here. And for the moment, it's... Oh, uh, shit. Uh, and yes, I do have leaves. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get down. King of the hill is only for one, motherfucker. All right, where? I think it's this one. Yes. Yes, it is. Uh, okay, let's store some shit. Store some shit. God damn it. Is the skeleton going to come down? I don't think he is, but if he is... So the sand goes back on top. And I've got my mine shaft, which, which goes straight to the bottom. I did all this with stone pickaxes and like one or two iron picks. Oh man, it was so brutal. <laughs> it was just... Urgh, SMP, urgh. And it's it's not Tyler's fault, it's not the server's fault. The server's fine. Um, it's just the fact that I'm so far away and... I mean, I myself have a pretty shitty connection. Since I'm the only one, I'm going to sleep and get rid of all the bad guys. Indeed. Hmm. But I mean, apart from this, this is the only thing I've done so far. I've got a basic idea of the type of house that I want to build. I'll show you what's down there in a second. Let me just make another chest. Um, so, 
1.3 is going well, I'd say. I'm kind of scared because I don't want to lock into Legendary. Um, obvious reasons, I mean... The uh, mob lag, I assume, is very bad in Legendary, so... Hmm. And, yes. I've done, I've done heaps of planning for Season 2 of Minecraft, which I'm not sure when I'm going to start. I've got a few readings and projects and stuff to do for uni, which really, really, really sucks because it cuts into my Minecraft time. Um, but, what's in here? Cobblestone? Yes, cobblestone. So yeah, look at that latency. Um, remember, I'm rendering a video, so that's expected. Now, I found my first diamond somewhere around here. I think I dug straight through to here, did the measurement, and then I found it up in the ceiling here. This is going to be, this room is going to be a main central hub for all my mine shafts. Um, I don't expect to find much. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful, mate. Beautiful. Absolutely fucking beautiful, mate. But I'm not going to use it because it's a waste. Put it put it there. Put it safe. I've got iron pickaxe that I would much rather uh, prefer to use. And besides, if I've, I've found a lava pool already. It's actually right beyond this wall. Um, uh, then I'll be able to make obsidian and get an enchanting table myself. And then we can start with the fun stuff like mob systems and and happiness and rainbows and yeah you get the idea but um many of you will probably recognize this shape for the room nine three two two one 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 yeah this is the circle that i've used for pretty much everything i've done so far i've done it in season one i've done it in um what else have i done it in alpha i've done that measurement and I'm not going to lie, I did use it, I was going to use it for Season 2 of Minecraft. Um, I hope you guys know what I'm talking about, the, the, the measurements of the circle. Um, this is eventually going to be a big circular room, and this is the, the design for it, so 9, and then 3, and then 2, and then 2, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 2, 2, 3, and then 9, and so on, until you make a circle. Well, what resembles a circle in Minecraft. Um, I've used that measurement for everything that I've done so far, and I was going to use it for Season 2, but I ended up changing it, and I will probably show that when I start Season 2. I think in the very beginning, I'm going to do kind of like a, um, uh, like Episode 0 type thing. Um, prelude, info, planning, that sort of thing. Um, it's probably not going to be a long episode, just I've got to make sure not to fall in that shit. Um, but yeah, it's not going to be much. So, this to me is incredibly boring, so I will mine out some more of this. Let you know if anything hin hin interesting happens. Yep. If anything... What the fuck, man? If anything interesting happens. Um, if not, then... I hope you like progress videos, because this is probably going to be one of them. Alright, status update. Just made myself a bucket. Got some water. Um, I made a infinite spring upstairs in the base. And we're going to get ourselves some obsidian now, which is, whoa, oh, holy shit, okay. Um, which is actually the hoster of the server now, so at least uh, I think it is obsidian hoster or something like that. Oh, god damn it! Alright, so obviously I have to place dirt below it, hopefully I don't lag. And we're going to mine some of this and then, and then we have the obsidian for the enchantment table. So then I'll be able to make my own one. For the time being, it's only going to be shitty enchantments like, you know, level 5s and level, well, level 5 max. Whoops. Um. But, yeah, I'm just trying to think. I think, yeah, so I need one more diamond before I can make an enchanting table. And I need to get leather for a book, which I think I used up on a helmet. <laughs> so, oh, holy shit. No! Damn it! How did I take damage? Fuck you, lag. Asshole lag. Ah, <sighs> but yes. Just thought I'd like to let you know that I'm collecting obsidian, and you don't want to watch it, so be right back. Fun fact, whenever I come up this uh, mine shaft, down the bottom I hear zombies. Quite a few zombies, so that leads me to believe that there might, in fact, be... Well, first of all, I know there's a dark space, but second of all, it may be a zombie spawner. So, by sheer dumb luck, I think I may have just built my base on top of a, a zombie spawner. Because I heard quite a few just then, at least more than two. 
Um, and I'm not sure if they would have spawned naturally. Um, but you never know. I heard a skeleton down there before, but I thought nothing of it. Because, you know, I probably would have stumbled upon a cave if there was one eventually. Um, but yeah, just thought I'd share that information in case in the future I find something there. And then I can be all like, HA! I TOLD YOU SO! But uh, until that happens, I must go on a hunch. So what was I doing? I was checking for leather. No, I did make it on a leather cap. Damn it. Okay, daytime. So I could go searching for cows and stuff, and I actually have a plan to do with that village. I'm going to completely destroy it and take all their sandstone. Oh, you think I'm kidding. <laughs> no, seriously. What I'm going to do is actually build a big quarry, like a big rectangle around the village, and just dig it all up. The villagers, um, I know that sounds very, very mean, and the villagers probably would not appreciate it. Um, but I'm thinking of building my house slash whatever the fuck I decide to call it out of sandstone and um, I mean I could do it by collecting sand as far as I know I think this pick would yes this pick does indeed uh, collect sand with the speed of a thousand fast things but uh, granted I think I would much rather take the sandstone directly uh, more so like look at it all look at it it's just Zimmer good. Oh, and there's like wheat farms and shit here, which I didn't even consider. And I mean, I, I will build some kind of, um, let's see, head scratch for th extra thought helping. I would build some kind of underground housing for these guys. Like, they would live in the pit and be safe from zombies. Um, I wouldn't just let them die, obviously, because I want them for trading and such, even though the trading system is royally fucked. Um, I think that... Uh, they can improve the trading system hugely. Um, I, I don't know if I should go into it. I think I might, um, but I don't think now is the time. So there's a ravine down there. I'm just cheating. I don't care. Come at me. I'll cheat if I want to. I'll leave my friends behind. Because if they don't cheat, something, 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 no friends of mine. Whatever. Anyway, um, yeah, I think they can improve the trading system greatly. Uh, the first thing that I think... Why am I out here at night time? I don't know. Um, first thing they can improve is the UI. The user interface. That's a big fucking hole. Oh, and yeah, I changed the textures. I added the cocoa beans and stuff. That's a creeper straight there. That's cool. I'm just going to go home. Um, but yes, so as many of you probably know, the way you trade villages... Let me just show you really quickly in case you don't know. These guys talking underneath there. Um, oh, I still haven't done the item for emerald, but there's an, there's an emerald here, and you can scroll through and they have different uh, things, and as you trade, they get more and everything like that. Yeah, that's a good system in theory, but it's kind of like communism. It just, you know, and come on, I got nothing against communism. If, hey! Okay. Hug? Hug? Give hug, please. Hey, 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 hey. Who? Hey, hey, hey. Hug, please. No, die. Damn motherfucker! Get away from my villagers. They're mine. You williker. XP, beautiful XP. But um, I'm going to eat some breed. Oh, nope, 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 nope. No, thank you. I will have none of it. But anyways, what was I saying? Yes, the UI. It, it's, it's pretty shitty. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, Mojang. I love their work and everything like that. But I mean, it's. There's just so many. It, so many better ways to do villager trading like if they had a uh, a window or something like a grid of items that you could buy from them um, and then it came up with a little price for it I think that would be better because then you wouldn't w wouldn't have to scroll through everything that you want and it would be a lot easier to see if they have what you need uh, at first glance rather than scrolling through everything and um, you wouldn't get ripped off as much if you buy stupid shit and then they don't replenish with good trades there's just so many so many ways that you can improve on it um, and of course there are monsters nearby. Fuck. Well, time to die, motherfucker. I'm trying to sleep. And you're mowing my lawn, so I will have none of it. Thank you. Oh my goodness. He got romper stomped. Let's kill this enderman, actually, if we can. Let me just show you how bad this lag is uh, while I'm uploading. Ugh! Don't attack me, please. I mean... When I was fighting the Enderman before, I don't think he was as much of a threat as the spider was. Because I was trying to fight the spider and the Enderman at the same time. 
And that was not helping. Whoa! See, he's not really he's not really hurting me. He just teleports the fuck around the place and, you know, hits me on the odd occasion. But apart from that, um, the spider was the biggest kick in the dick. Because I was trying to attack the Enderman and then he just hit me in the leg and, you know, fucking Venom would start... Uh, coursing through my veins and I was like, oh, I'm dying. And then, yes, okay, that's great. Sleep time. See, apparently I just placed some sand, but I don't... I heard the placing of sand noise, but I don't know where I placed sand. Oh, well, that's just SMP for you. And there's all my bows from Alex's place. So I think I'm set for bows. I haven't even used a bow yet. That is my first bow and I haven't touched it. <laughs> Mom, can I have a crossbow? No, Jimmy. Finish your bow first. But, Mom... I don't know where I'm going with this. Anyways, I needed to get leather, but I didn't go search for cows. Well, that's fine, I guess. I have iron to make... Not enough to make pants, but... I am slowly catching up. Okay. I think that's enough for this clip, so I'm going to continue hollowing this shit out, and I will see you in a sec. Oh, no! I did change things in the texture pack. I changed, um... Stone bricks, and actually... Uh, I'm going to change sandstone as well. I know sandstone at the moment I like, and it looks kind of cool, and it's pretty awesome and stuff, but I think I can improve it by... I have an idea. Uh, you know how sandstone has three different types? Uh, well, I'll show you in a second, because I'm going to build my house out of sandstone, like I said before, so I'll probably just go ahead and show you as I build that. Can okay, that's just a little bit of little bit of lag. No problem. But, uh, yes, I will be right back in a tick, duh. Alright, so I've hollowed out a fair fair amount. Um, I keep running into a lava pool around here. And I went this way because I found some coal. No, wait. Yes, I think that's what it was. I found this tunnel a while ago. Uh, well, I made this tunnel a while ago. And it came up here, so that's the lava pool that I'm dealing with at the moment. And I turn around, bam, there's diamonds. So, time to use our Unbreaking 3, Efficiency 4, and Fortune, whatever the fuck, 3 pick on this. And it's about to be be awesome. I was just looking around the corner. I was doing that thing where you move your head, but it doesn't matter because it's a screen. Derp. But anyways, let's see how much this is. At least two. I'm going to guess four. My money's on four. It's going to be three. Watch. Oh, four. I mean, I'm wishing for no more, so I was right, but at the same time, more diamonds, Blaze. Is it four? I think it's four. Fucking Jesus Christ, stop. what the fuck is wrong with you? God. It's okay, calm. Alright. Yeah, I think four, so... It's a shame I didn't say how much to bet on. Ooh, three diamonds from that? Fuck yeah. One diamond? Yes. Uh... Two diamonds. <laughs> I know, I suck at maths. Is it... It's two? Three. Nine. Nine diamonds from four ores. That's pretty damn good. That's pretty damn good. And I keep finding redstone and shit. Even though I said I'm probably not going to do much stuff with redstone, um, I can't get enough of this stuff, so I think I'm going to end up building some pretty epic stuff with redstone, but, you know, that's just me. I'm just prying to see if I can find any more. I know there's redstone around there, but I don't think there are any more diamonds, so I'm going to head back this way. Now, I don't know how deep this thing is. Okay, so that's one, that's two. I'm going to go through here and fill this all up with dirt. Uh, and I have gravel. Yes. So I'm going to... Um, when I'm at the point where I can't reach it anymore, I'm going to... Um, hopefully I don't fall in, but I'm going to uh, fill this lake up so that when I'm digging it out uh, from there, it's not going to be an issue. Man, this is so laggy. Holy crap. Yay, SMP. <laughs> Yay. Oh, shit. You watch, I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna die. But anyways, yeah, I'll, I will be right back and see you in a second. And all this kind of be right back jargon that no one really cares about. Okay, be right back. Alright, so a little update. Um, this is Lucky's house. Tyler's house. I keep calling him Lucky. It's Tyler. Ty Lucky. And, um... You may see I have a book. Oh, shit. The gods know that I have stolen. Um, I did leave uh, two jungle... What's it called? Two jungle logs 
in exchange for one book. He's got like 50,000 books anyway, so surely he won't miss this one. Unless, you know, this one is like labeled Twilight or some shit. Um, I know how much he loves his Twilight books, but yes, I'm going to use this. And I didn't take it out of, uh, out of laziness. I did actually look for a good half an hour for cows in my area. And um, I didn't find a single one in the jungle near my house. I didn't find anything in the desert, obviously, because it's a desert and shit don't spawn there. And um, I did look in the swamp, found a few pigs, but no cows. And I looked in a snowy biome, no cows. So, despite how much I tried to look for cows and tried to get just one bit of leather to make a book, um, I couldn't do it. So, unfortunately, I resorted to flogging one, but hopefully that's okay. I think two jungle logs... Obviously, that's not even, but... Ah, <sighs> oh well, I'll repay it someday. Man, I'm gonna owe everyone IOUs, just because I can have no fucking luck with sheep. And funnily enough, in the jungle, there was like 6,000 sheep, but no cows. And then, in episode 1, there were 6,000 cows, but no sheep. So that's kind of bullshit, in my opinion. Um, that's just the luck that I have, but... Fuck it, I have a book now, so I'm gonna make an enchanting table, and... Hopefully be able to clear out this area a little bit better. I found some more diamonds and stuff. Um, or did I? No. No, I recorded that. Yeah. Found some more diamonds, so I'm going to make a diamond pickaxe and just do like a little shitty enchantment. Hopefully without fortune or um, just with efficiency so I can... Um, what's it called? Hollow out the area a little bit quicker than I already am. Because I don't want to use this pickaxe. This pickaxe is for uh, coal, diamonds, and redstone, stuff like that, at least for the time being, so until I get a decent efficiency pickaxe, um, I'm just using like iron picks, which I'm running out of quite quickly, so um, I'm gonna have to make a diamond pickaxe, which I have the diamonds for, and get this shit rolling. Alright, I'll be back in a second. Alright, I've got all the materials I need, let's make this thing. So, it's, as far as I remember, it is four obsidian like this, and two diamonds like this, and book like this. <sighs> Beautiful. Alright, I think, well I don't have any bookcases yet, so I'm just going to put it uh, here. Why not? Very quaint, I like it. I can sleep, can I? Yes, it's night time. And also raining, but the good thing is about living in a desert is that you don't get any rain. Um, I like rain in Minecraft, surprisingly, um, but when it makes so much noise, you start to get annoyed after a while, so... I'm happy, and an enderman is just teleporting willy-nilly, and it's very annoying. Um, I think I'm going to go with a... Uh, I've got 14 levels, I think I should... Well, I do have reeds. I'm going to make some... Um, I always call them reeds. I know they're called sugar canes, but I don't care. I'm old-fashioned. I prefer to call them reeds. Besides, it's much easier to say reeds than sugar cane, duh. But, anyways, let's go ahead and... Wait, no. Oh, I need books. That means I need leather. <laughs> Alright, fuck it. I'm just going to make a level 6 enchantment then. Or however the highest is. Yes! Awesome. Cool. That's exactly what I wanted. Um, so, fuck you, sugarcane, slash reed, slash whatever you are. I am out of here. Alright. ba ba boop Oh shit! Yeah, not going to not gonna make that same mistake again. Because I've made it in like every series I've done so far. Ah, <sighs> my goodness. But anyways... I'm going to continue hollowing this out, and I will be back soon. Hey! It's been a couple of days since I recorded last time. That was probably really loud, I'm sorry. I always adjust the microphone between uh, episodes and everything like that, because I usually record them days apart. And now that I realize that um, this episode, it's like 24 minutes in or whatever, um, I realize this is like the end of it. And I know that this is the third SMP video in a row, but I promise that next time it will be different before episode 4 of this is released. I will upload something different. Um, there is always a spider on my roof here, and I don't know why. Oh, he's, he's, he's gone now. He's dead. He's gone to the other world. And now I have his string in this world. So, um, wait, no, I wanted to show you something. So, yesterday, or the day before, I can't remember when it was. It's been a while now. Uh, yes, okay. There was... <laughs> Alright, yes, I remember what happened. So, I spawned, uh, well, I logged back in down there somewhere. And uh, it was during the day, so I didn't think anything of it. But I came up here, and I went to enter my base. And, um, 
What are your cohorts? Let's check. 256. That's pretty appropriate. And 888. Hang on. Wow, that's that's really cool. That's easy to remember. T. Um, 256. Oh, wait, no. It's X256 and Y88. No, Z. Oh, my goodness. Get in type, idiot. Okay, there we go. So, anyways, I spawned there, came up here, and I didn't think much of it, but there were no, there was no torch here. I thought I must have broken it. And um, yes, the good thing about rain and storm is that it doesn't happen in a desert. So, yeah, shut up, Tyler. You, you stupid. Anyway, yeah. So I came up here looking for no. Get away! Thank you. No, no, no. You blew up. Well, I think that's far away. Um, so yeah, I came up here and I was looking for my base and I was like, duh, and I dug around a bit and I'm like, nope, that's not it. Nope, that's not it. And yeah, and so on and so forth and I couldn't really find the hole until I did that. I was like, huh. So I placed a torch there to mark it again. I'm like, I wonder why I broke my torch. So I came down here and this was mid daytime and because I have this sunroof here now, um, uh, the sun was obviously coming in and lighting up the place and, um, I'm not sure if you've seen this. I think you have. This is my base, regardless if you haven't seen it. Um, but, yeah, so I came down and everything was bright and everything like that. So I left, right? Uh, no, I checked in... Oh, God, I'm trying to remember what happened yesterday. How did I discover? Um, I think... Yeah, and then I, I went and did something. That's right, I went exploring, right? I went uh, out that way. And then I came back here when it was night time, that's right, it turned night time, decided to come back to my bed, and um, I realized it was really dark in here, and I was like, whoa, so I placed a torch here, placed a torch here, now I haven't seen these signs yet, Take, just keep that in mind, I haven't seen those signs yet, so I placed a torch there, placed a torch there, I looked over the edge, and all my torches in the mine shaft were gone, I placed them every six blocks, specifically, and I changed the gravel texture, by the way, it's uh, kind of a mix between the default and the new Maddox Craft V2 one, um, Motherfucker! Yes. And then there's... So that's kind of like a close-up view of it. I kind of like it. Um, slimes down here. Yes, very cool. So I finished hollowing this out. I think that's what I was doing last time in this episode. Got all the cobblestone from it here. Um, but of course, when I came down here, all these torches were missing. I had to replace all the torches, which I still have missed some. And I'm getting some pretty hardcore lag. What the fuck? Stupid computer thing. What's the problem? What's the problem? Game renderer. Okay, so it's loading the world or something. Um, but regardless, I had to place all the torches and I found a cave, which I'm going to explore next episode, I think. And I found that stuff, yeah, and lava pools and all this kind of bull crap. Why am I lagging? Alright, give me a second. Alright, I don't know if that's going to fix it. Um, I didn't really do anything, but hopefully now that I've stopped and started recording again, something magic will happen. Uh, so yeah, all my torches were missing. I'm honestly, by this point, like, what the actual fuck? Where are all my torches? And, um... So, I... I had no idea what happened, and I thought that once I logged out, um, that it was a glitch. I, I, sp I suspected that someone came and took them, right? Um, but at the same time, I was like, I think I've just glitched out. I think... I don't know why my torches are all missing, but to test my theory... I came up, I checked all the furnaces, checked every single one of them, not a single torch was placed in there, and I checked this chest, and I still haven't seen these signs yet when this happened. I looked in the chest, I'm like, there's no, no torches at all. I looked in here, every single stack was gone. So I came up here, and I looked around, all the torches from there were missing, looked over at my wheat farm, all the torches there were missing, I've replaced them by now, obviously. Um, oh, motherfucker, perfect timing, hello. Hello. Hello, Alex. Nice to see you. I'm, I'm explaining things. Yes. Oh, oh. <gasps> That's so fucking awesome. I, I could kiss you. Mwah. Mwah, 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 mwah. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> Rape of the mouth. Um, but yeah, so all my torches were gone. And, um, so I had to look around over there. And to test my theory, and to test my theory, I, um, like, of the torches that disappeared. Wow, this, this sword kicks bottom. Um, yeah, I, I thought that maybe, perhaps, oh boy, rain, I'm gonna lag a fair bit. Um, yeah. Now I'm not recording, I'll take a look at your face. Yeah, go ahead, man. 
But, um, yeah, so I, I headed over here, and I've changed the sandstone textures, obviously. I'm not, I'm not going to stick with them, I'm just testing for the time being. Um, I haven't tested in a multiplayer world yet, and I keep running out of hunger. Um, but I couldn't be sure that all the torches I had placed were still in the game or not, and I thought, well, shit, I must have glitched out really badly or something. And I came over here to where I got some cobblestone originally, and no one, I think, on the server knows of this place. And this torch was still here. So I'm like, right, someone's taken my torches. I know they have. And, um, so after that, I, there's a torch over there as well. You can't really see it, and I can't zoom in because I don't have Optifine. But, um, I went that way in a boat, and I know Tyler had something to do with it. I'm like, it's just something he would do. And, uh, I went to his house, had a look in every single chest. Nope, nothing. So I went to Alex's house, had a look in every single chest. Nope, nothing. And Alex's other place as well, that uh, mine area. Had a look around, looked on the surface to see that he's not placed them everywhere. Had a look around this mountain, not a single sign of it. And I'm like, well, fuck it. My torches are just, they've just disappeared off the face of the earth. So um, what I did was I headed back to base and uh, came up here then just dropped down a little bit. And I'm like, there has to be something here to symbolize that and I turned around and I saw it and I felt like the biggest dickhead stopped by to borrow some torches by the way nice place you got here lesson three so I was doubting the fact that um, that Tyler had stolen it and I just glitched out but this this verified that he had indeed stolen them so he will pay for this and he's recently pranked Alex with uh, filling his house full of glass so we are going to get him back although I can't say it to him right now yes Yes, yeah, so I would type, but uh, Tyler's online right now as well, so you can never be too careful. And, uh, <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. What a badass. I was using Protection 1, so I'm so happy. I'm glad. But uh, I think that's the end of this episode, indeed. And I'm going to get to start building my base for episode 4. What's the plan for the bottom? I was going to fill it up with uh, wood, and, yeah, I know, I'm just explaining it to him right now. I'll tell you in the video I'm making right now. Happy face. <laughs> Lava. Oh, his plan. <laughs> uh, Tyler. Piece of shit. But, uh, yes. I, I was going to plan on adding uh, wood down there, different types of wood. And, uh, let, let me just go down so I can show you. Hopefully I don't die, thanks to feather falling. Yeah, pff, nothing. But I was going to have, like, different colours of wood and everything like that. But I decided that it was a bit too much because of the lava pools. I know there was a lava pool here. There was a lava pool over here and over here. So if I was to use wood, everything would just burn up and die. But, um... Hmm, I'm going to ask Alex, uh, Alex if he wants to uh, go caving in my area. And, uh... Yes, if he wants to go into my cave. And, uh... Huh, you never know. Alright, I'll see you guys next time.